Well, howdy there, Internet. It's Boak. Wait, no. Hold on, I think I was just channeling someone else's channel. Anyway, hello, Internet to Desire Talos. What we do here, if you're new to the channels, we watch really bad movies and we make fun of them. It's a great deal of fun. I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a movie we should do, feel free to shout it out in the comments below. That'll also help me with the algorithm, getting my videos seen, so I'd greatly appreciate that. Also, you can click that like, that subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be updated when the next video drops. And, uh, yeah. Uh, this movie we're going to be watching is called The Lost Woman, and apparently it's a 1959 movie, horror movie built around the idea of a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant woman, which is a little weird, but, you know, hey, we'll see what's up with it. Maybe it'll be fun. Who knows? Uh, it comes to us from our friends at Cult Cinema Classics. Uh, they post a lot of movies here on the Tubes of You, so if you could go to their page and hit the subscribe and give them a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it, just to show them a little, a little thank you for putting stuff on here for us. Um... Just remember that if you are going to post a video you would like to see Rift, check it for copyright, please. I'll be doing my own checks as well, but, you know, I can't do anything that's not, like, you know, copyright-free, for what I hope are obvious reasons. Anyway, no further ado, because I got nothing else to say, so we're going to start the movie and learn about this, uh, this Protestant woman. Okay, well, first note, those are clearly bees. Come on, movie, do your research, Jesus. This was an alternative to uh, Wonder Woman from back in the day. Um, not not as popular, but you know they tried. So. Also, just a brief note before we get in too far into the movie. This will be there might be some weird cuts in this video because I'm gonna try to learn how to edit so I can edit out the commercials. We'll see how well that goes. I'm not great at my job. I'm trying to get better. Work with me. Looks like a picture of corporate life, really. Excuse me, pardon, pardon, excuse me. Excuse me, just trying to get through. Okay, excuse me. Fred, your wings are right in my face, come on. The Core Man! This is all about the superhero references. Weird. Oh, oh, there's someone. Why is there a string hanging off the back of this? Look, he's got a, he's got a 12-pack. He's gonna go have some beers with the wasps. Where you going, buddy? I, I think the shot's been firmly established, movie. We can we can move on. Where the hell am I again? Ah oh, crap, I didn't remember what I was doing. Uh is it the tree? Is the tree what I was looking for? Oh crap. Okay, I was joking about him being lost, but I'm legitimately starting to worry that he might be lost. We might be watching just a senile old man having a walk through the park. A little sad. Also kind of funny, but... Oh, yep, definitely a tree. Also, I'm not sure your suit's supposed to open like that. I, I feel like that would allow the bees to get in. Is that... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a... bee person. I, I forget what they're called. <laughs> but, like, I'm pretty sure the suit's supposed to be fairly secure so that they don't get in there with you. Twenty somewhere, right? Woo! Bumpy is not going to hurt you one bit. Just relax and sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep. 
You'll find yourselves in your new home. Ain't my pitch? <laughs> I don't know, there's something wrong about a creepy old man trying to get you to sleep so he can take you to your new home. I feel like a lot of true crime docs start the same way. Typically not with wasps, with humans, but still. Oh, broke the hive, gotta start over again. Crap. Oh, I see, I see, I see. He's a door-to-door -door wasp salesman. He's just, you know, upgrading his inventory. I don't feel like that's a lucrative business. Hey, you want to knock it off? Jimmy's got asthma in here. Shouldn't, shouldn't again I, I'm not a apiarist a, a, I don't remember but like I feel like you should be wearing gloves <laughs> feels dangerous just saying ah crap I'm lost again found the wasps now I can't get home Oh yeah, that's honeying up nice there. Oh, give it another month, that'll be good eating right there. Friggin' sign or something? I don't know. Ah, the days before GPS. Oh yeah, they're doing their work real good there. What you got there? Oh, it's a little something I like to call my own damn business. Wasps better be careful, they can sting a man to death. I mean, bees can sting a man to death too, though. I mean, bees can sting a man to death too. They can tell. Can they? Can they? If you knew about wasps, what I know. Have no fear of them, my boy. No fear. <laughs> Whatever, you crazy old coot. I I, th I think that's a fancy car. I don't I, I don't I don't know fifties cars. I... Nope, oh, wait. It's just no Camino. My bad. I feel like the business suit goes very well with the B. <laughs> our thing's running at the front office. Smooth as honey, Renfro. <laughs> I see here uh, I'm laughing because you signed my paycheck. Blossom, honey, and 400 of beeswax last month, Renfro. Congratulations. You've made the top of the list again. Thank you, sir. Holiday honey needs your kind of man, Renfro. You stay with it, and I can see a bright future for you with the company. Well, I do try to do my best, Mr. Barker. Well, it's not good enough. Double production. The bees. Always busy, busy, busy. Whatever, weirdo. Yes. Uh, what about this fellow, Dr. Zinthrop? Zinthrop? Boy, there's a nut. Him and his bees. You know, it wouldn't surprise me someday to see him flapping his arms, taking off after some queen bee with the rest of the drone. <laughs> the other day, I found him in bed with him. to do research on royal jelly. Haven't had a progress report from him in a month. What is royal jelly? Oh, he is that a real a thing? Up there back Comment down below. Keeps a few colonies. I suppose I better go up there and take a look. God damn it! I hate this place. All right. Hey you! Where's this fellow Zinthrop? No, he's up where the extractor is. Up there. No matter how many times we fumigate, we can't get rid of these damn bees. This isn't a honeybee. These are wasps. Wasps. Who's responsible for this? Most likely Dr. Zinthrop, sir. I told you it was a crackpot. Zinthrop, huh? Zinthrop. Ah. It's not actually for the bees, it's just this guy doesn't like the smell of nature, so they're spraying a new car scent around him as he walks. He's a little eccentric.
Trust me, I'm doing science. He's either got a lab full of flies, or this film is really degraded. Or both. Now look here, Zimstruck, what's all this nonsense about wasps? I'm so glad you dropped in, Mr. Varker. Mr. Varker, I'm on the verge of a great discovery. Discovery? What do you Just mean? by the accent, he's not a wasp. I almost perfected They're far too polite, jelly. and they don't him up nearly that much. Jelly from the queen wasp. According to my figures, you're better at extracting funds from the company. Now look here, Zinthrop. Well, that's my minor. Last month for miscellaneous. Yes, yes, I know. But Mr. Barker, let me just show you something. Just let me show you something. Already I've learned to slow the process of aging. Soon, I shall be able to reverse it entirely. What are you getting at, Zinthrop? Thought I was clear. I'm trying to reverse aging. What? What do you see? See a big dog and a little dog. Let's say an old dog and a young dog. The mama had puppies. All right. So what? Well, they're exactly the same age. You see, the little one, Greta, has been given regular injections of my compound from the queen wasp. Just like I told you, Mr. Barker. You're a smug well, bastard, aren't you? I understand about science and progress and all that, but... Well, I don't, but I say I do, so I don't feed into my own insecurities. No, it's a health food, a, a cosmetic. It, it's not a, a miracle drug or an elixir of youth. That sort of thing is impossible. Oh, but Mr. Fark is Zinthrop, I, I'm sorry, Zinthrop, but I'm going to have to let you go. Where? You just it, don't seem to be one of the team. I don't have my coat. You, you understand. Good luck. No, I'm, I'm still sure unclear on where you're taking me. I don't... What, what, what are we talking about? Fit in somewhere. I'll somewhere them all. Well, so far we've seen that Zenthrop has managed to oh, halt the aging process and that. teleport short we distances. Find a home somehow, somewhere. Oh, but you sound impatient. I know. It's your babies, huh? They're hungry and uh, they must be fed. Uh, now, now, how would you like a nice, juicy little caterpillar, huh? Uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Then. Get him! Get him! Prison break! Oh. Be strong because, oh, a lot of work to do together. Yes, sir. I feel like wasps work. do most of the work. Meanwhile, in the city! It's that, it's that whole bee scene from the beginning, just with humans and cars. As you can see, gentlemen, sales for the last fiscal quarter have dropped. Well, that fourth bar doesn't look so bad. Fourteen and one half percent. There has not been a corresponding drop in our competitor sales. I trust one of you gentlemen has a satisfactory explanation for this decline they're better than we are not one little suggestion gentlemen well yeah i said they're better we'll start with you thompson hmm? oh, i'm sorry i'm paying attention manager no doubt you have some faint glimmering of what's happening to stalin products well thompson well you see i uh I had no idea you were such an excellent public speaker thompson oh i'm sorry miss darling i guess i'm not feeling very well this morning i'm sorry you are I'm allergic to bitch, you see. I can tell you why Stalin products are falling <coughs> off so badly, Miss Stalin. We're listening, Lane. Where would you put the responsibility for this decline? On you, Miss Stalin. Oh, you're fired. Yep. I imagine you have arguments to support that contention. We've all been looking at it for the past 20 minutes. The most convincing argument is right on that graph. May I show you? Now, right here in April is when Stalin's sales started falling off. Very clever of you, Lane. Would you mind waiting until I finish, Miss Stalin? That's I would, point. actually. Relax, Willis. My apologies for the interruption. Go on. Thank you. 
Now, as I said, sales began to fall in April. But and right here is when you started being a bitch. In February. In February, that was right. The Stalin products have always been thought of as something of a, a modern miracle in the cosmetics trade. I, I know her name's supposed to be Starling, but it sounds like he's saying Stalin products, right? That's not just me. It sounds like he's saying Stalin products, which... That might be why your company's right failing. It's, February of this Stalin's year, not a great thing to associate yourself with. Used to advertise those products. Your face, Miss Stalin. The public have come to accept you as a, as a symbol. Well, now, after 16 years, they see a different face. They, they don't trust it. They feel cheated. The simple fact is that Stalin Cosmetics should have Janice Stalin's picture advertising. Must be a different time period. Well, because, like, got to say. I gotta tell you, I don't care about the public face of any company. Good job of saying it. McDonald's could running Ronald McDonald in the reds. I wouldn't feel betrayed. Store, I think I've had enough flattery for one morning, gentlemen. Actually, go on a little bit longer. It's a very convincing argument, Colonel. There's a Mr. Tempter whose name is Stalin. There's only one small factor you've overlooked. Not even Janice Stalin can. Remain a glamour girl forever. Don't be a glamour girl. Be the attractive matronly figure. There's a Mr. Zentrop in Fuck society's constraints on woman's attractiveness. You do you, boo. Huh? Be like Mother Starling or something. I don't know. It'll be all for now. I hate you all. I'll just leave the papers. I, 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 I. Clearly don't need those for anything. Smoking my building ass. He's the one who called you old. Something on your mind, Miss Stalin? You've done some work on royal jelly, haven't you? A little. Round up the queen myself. Real therapeutic values in it. I'd say so. Of course, a lot depends on each individual's reaction to the stuff. Wasn't that pipe already lit? What do you mean? And didn't he just put it in his pocket lit? No two people reacted precisely the same way. Explains why they call them smoking jackets. One man's meat's another man's poison. Oh. But you think royal jelly can be beneficial in some cases. Queen Bee said a lot of stuff about it. I'll accept that as an affirmative answer. Except for everyone. Supposing a more powerful form of royal jelly could be obtained. From the queen wasp, for example. Do wasps I mean, have queens? Do wasps you make jelly? That might have some rejuvenating effect on a human being. I'd stay away from this wasps. Movies make me want to research stop. things, and I don't have the free time for that. The stop queen it. Wasp is on level with a black widow spider. They're both carnivorous. They paralyze their victims and then take their time devouring them alive. They kill their mates in the same way too. Strictly a one-sided romance. So do cows, and we still eat them. Exactly interested in, in the love life of the queen wasp. Are you sure? Because I got a great well, video at. Uh, oh. Well, the possibilities of using enzyme extracts from royal wasp jelly commercially. Well, if you want an honest opinion, Miss Stalin. Of course, I want an honest opinion. Then my advice is forget about it. Forget about it. Thank you, Arthur. Anytime, Miss Stalin. Now get out of the office while I completely disregard your opinion. How does he not catch his blazer? This will be cut, hopefully. How does he not catch his blazer on fire? Right? He keeps putting a lit pipe in there. It seems like a bad idea. Go in Apparently in the late 50s they still had not discovered oh, fire. God. Hope you don't mind, I brought my parakeets yeah, with me. Miss Darling? Hmm, what? Yes. How do you do? You know, he sounds like he's saying Miss Darling. I won't be able to give you much time, Mr. What it is I who give you the time, Miss Darling. Oh yes, plenty of time I give you. Ten, maybe fifteen years I give you. Could you make just a little sense, please? I want you to understand one thing very clearly, Mr. Zinthrop. I expect absolute proof of what you claimed in your letter. Tangible proof, not words. <laughs> Such proof you shall get, madame. And more. See, my parakeets are great I at math. I better show you in the laboratory, yes? A 
are terrible. Why don't you put them Well, I mean, I know he needs a haircut, but please be kind enough to look at this you ask for. May I proceed? Thank you. What we have here is common household arsenic. I can't believe I forgot the word arsenic. Jesus, he must be tired. Oh my god, help! Get him off me! What's he doing? He's killing me! You're just gonna sit back and watch your own monsters! Oh god! In a few minutes, madame. The strict nine will take effect. You shall not believe. Oh, no tricks. <laughs> you may look if you like. I have no tricks. Nothing up my Don't sleeves. Look at me. <laughs> I'm not changing. That's we all thank you for not changing. Just keep wearing what you're wearing, it's fine. Am I supposed to be noticing something? It looked like the same guinea pig. Oh. Now it's somehow turned into a mouse. Which is a little Don't weird, right? It. It's not uh, possible. Not even the same species. I know they're trying to make it look younger, but it's not the same animal. I see you do not believe one animal, so I bring two. Little more strychnine? I, I show you again? Yes? Yes, I must be sure. Yes, madam. How many animals can we euthanize in one scene? God, now I saw what you did to Larry! I've got a wife and kids! Yeah, I don't see anything happening either. You're not, you're not alone. Oh shit, the guinea pig caught fire. Does my uh, oh. secret have interest for you? Yes. What are your terms, Mr. Zinter? First, I must have a laboratory equipped with everything I need for my research. If we're successful, well, I ask for a little percentage. But I must there. get full credit for my discovery. That is most important to me. I'll have Gordon draw up the contract. Contrast, contrast, I do not need to give me your word. Good enough for me. I see, you're a fool. Got it. You amaze me. Frankly, when I received your letter, I thought you were just a, another eccentric. And yet, you yeah, let him have an interview anyway. Meeting, whatever. Then you walk in here and show me nothing short of a miracle. Two miracles. Changing guinea pigs you into mice. Accept my word that I won't cheat you. You won't. I know you're a good woman. Even if you do not like other people to know it. However, uh, you met her five minutes ago. May not be good for human beings. I have not tested yet. You will on me. Oh, Wait, no, what? No, no, there might be danger. Those are my terms, Mr. Sintra. Janice Stalin will be your next guinea pig. All right, fine. I'll turn you into a mouse as well. Whatever. Though it may take a little time to prepare sufficient extract. A week, maybe more. I'll make whatever arrangements you may need for your equipment. Thank you, madam. Now I see how you built all this. <laughs> I'm very close to losing it, Mr. Zinter. Maybe working together Gosh. we can save Janice. I'm Darling. making a video. You've got to be quiet while I make a video. Maybe even make it bigger than ever before. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sure the next three I am deeply vexed. Soon. A rise in Starlin sales that will surpass anything we've dared imagine. Mr. Zinthrop is working on the final stages of a development that will revolutionize the cosmetic industry. He's well, pharmaceuticals and cosmetics, right? Experiments like... that will be answerable to no one but myself. At the moment, I cannot divulge the nature of Mr. Zinthrop's experiments, but I can assure you it will bring worldwide recognition to Janice Starlin Enterprises. It's a little narcissistic to name your company after yourself, but it's fine, whatever. Still vexed! I'm vexed as well. I'm also vexed now! It could be contagious. Oh no, that was still a guinea pig. Maybe he aged back.
it must be the granddaddy of all confidence men to take in a gal like Starlin. Why doesn't somebody wise her up? Like you, for instance? Phil. Yes? What makes you think Synthrop really isn't on the level? Uh, he's saying he could know, reverse aging. He's working on it. Could be very legitimate. Oh, they don't know. Okay, never mind. She is. Oh, women. <laughs> oh, sexism. Every time you're stuck to an answer, you always come up with women. You're not getting out of this one so easily. I'd like to know why you think Zinthrop really hasn't got something. Oh, I'm not vaping, by the way. I'm trying to calm the bees down. Male intuition, if you like. Just that there's something about this whole business that doesn't smell right. The private laboratory, the secret experiments, Zinthrop himself. The only thing that's missing is a genie with a lamp. You better leave the intuition to me. Come on. Ow! I'll let you buy me dinner. Buy you dinner? What's happened to your sporting blood? I thought we were going to toss for the check. Oh, no. You won the last three times. All right, look, I'll make a deal with you. Dinner is on me if you promise to keep an eye on what goes on in there. Well, what do you want me to do? Read her mail and send her messages and your codes? You could do worse. That'd be pretty cool if you could. No, oh, Mr. Cooper, not you too. I've been trying to tell Bright Eyes here that I think Zinthrop is a phony and a confidence man. Oh, if I were sure of that, I wouldn't be worried. I think he's a lot more dangerous. A quack. Oh, I don't follow you, Coop. Well, a confidence man is just be interested in your money. The only damage they can do is to your pocketbook. Well, unless they take out a life insurance policy. Then they both can be fatal. In cards. So I says to him, I says, listen, Irving. I'm getting sick of this TV every night. I mean, you know. So I says to him, I says, listen, Irving. I'm sick of being a stereotype of a 1950s woman. Good morning. Jenna Starlin Enterprises. Why are you trying to sound like a phone sex operator? I got two words for you. Drop dead. Twice. That, that's Aaron, three words. Calls me to tell me Dr. Cyclops is on channel nine tonight. Good crust. You've seen it twice already. Good morning. Oh, yes. Yet another German doctor employed by the U.S. after the war. Miss Starlin's in conference. Would you like to speak to her secretary? Oh, no, no, no. Just say to Miss Darling, I should like to see her when she has time, huh? Yes. Maybe you should inject some of the royal jelly in your head. You can grow your hair back. Was there something else, Mr. Zinthrop? No, no, I was just Goodbye. sexually harassing your co-worker here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Creepy old man, damn. Millions find a low-cost health plan at healthcare.gov so they can enjoy more visits and have less to worry about. Feel like a million and find your plan during open enrollment. Healthcare.gov is here for millions like you. That elevator looks so fake. What a character. A regular two-eyed Dr. Cyclops. Even the bow. Morning. May I see Miss Zardling, please? <laughs> He's a real weirdy. Wonder what his game is. What is your Who job cares? exactly? You know, Morton thinks he's a crack. Holding that box down so it won't float away. Cooper, so. Old Bug Eyes really has the execs worried. So what? That's just it. They don't know. Oh. So anyway, back to Irving. Yes, let's continue to talk about your husband. I have nothing going on in my life. <laughs> Yep. Let's see, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry, I'm counting bees. Good morning, Miss Darling. Good morning. Good morning. That door didn't close. Any sooner. Is it important? Miss Darling, do you remember the big cat I showed you last week? No. No. What that, about it? We didn't see it anyway. Well, I want you to look at him. Come. Quite a difference, yes? <laughs> That's incredible. You <laughs> say more. I get. You're young again. Can you realize what that means? Yeah, it means I gotta go through puberty again. You guys are monsters! Monsters! How does it feel? 
I think perhaps you'll be able to find out for yourself, Miss Darling. Here's a cat I refrigerated earlier. Today will be your first injection. Uh, guys, the music is telling me this is a bad idea. You shouldn't go through with it. Don't leave the lid off. He's gonna escape. Oh, no, sorry. I was unclear. I gotta inject you in the butt. Now that we're doing it... I, I don't know anymore. I'm just so nervous. Are you sterilizing? Nope, that's barbecue sauce. Oh, the drama! Brill as the needle punctures a vein! Mr. Gleason of accounting on line three. What is it, Gleason? Weird to come through the I radio like that. Mr. Zinthrop has carte blanche to order anything he requires. It is no concern of yours, Gleason. Make out a check for the full amount. Or yours, Mary. Quit eavesdropping. Sue? Mary. Hey, her name is Mary. Holy crap. Lucky guess. Looks like my mom. But, you bill? know, about 40 years younger. Gleason just got a bill for $2,300. Zinthrop. Harvey Zinthrop. Enzyme. Attorney of law. Girl, that extract your enzymes. Hey. Listen, buddy, we don't come to your job and watch you work. You want to get that camera off me? Yes, 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 we are. They're definitely cheeks. Great improvement in the tissue. Why is it taking so long? It's the third week. You forget, my dear, there's more to you than a little kitten, no? Besides, there's a difference in metabolism. Why not increase the dosage? Arsenic affects well, everyone differently. Patience, my dear patience. We must tread lightly and with care, your arm, please. Another dose of barbecue sauce. <laughs> the lick. Okay. And now the shot. Oh! That needle was moving around an awful lot for being in someone's vein. I've been experimenting with a concentrated solution of the enzyme. Oh, a great deal more powerful than the solution I've been using in your injection. Oh? Yes. And I think... I think it will be better for lotions. It's an emollient lotion. It'll make estrogenic creams and all such products old-fashioned. And turn people into giant wasp yeah. monsters. This, this should be fun. will be world famous, bringing you to millions. Stalin's gonna be world famous? Again, this is weird. Why are we commenting on I Stalin in this movie? red faces in my advertising department. But I am right. Why, your own mirror will tell you that I am right. Why, you look at least five years younger than you looked three weeks ago. <laughs> I know. Where's that recipe? I must have Zenthrop's butt cake recipe. Zenthorp? Zenth I'm, I'm bad at keeping track of the names in this movie. I know she's Mary, because we got lucky on the guess. And then we're following either Mrs. Starling, Darling, Stalin. I don't know, man. It's just... These people need to learn to enunciate. Will you let me talk to Bill a minute, Sue? Thanks. Bill? I think Bailey? You got it. Yeah, I'm a nervous wreck. Lunch. Lunch. You'll have to translate for me, Coop. I'm not very good at that technical stuff. Pseudo-technical. It's German. What do you... Uh, Mr. Zinthrop's a very capable confidence man, from what I read in this letter. He claims he can stimulate the processes of rejuvenation through the use of enzymes extracted from wasps. Oh, for... <sighs> well, 
No, oh, don't act like you know what he just said. Right now, I don't know. Well, first, we're going to talk to someone to figure out what the hell it means. so intent on holding back time, she's ready to fall for the first phony line she hears. Wasps. Bill. Face the facts. Mary Janice Starland has built her... I mean, I'm with Bill. I hate wasps. They're so pretentious and uptight. I'm trying to make everybody live their way. It's bothersome. Quite resent her, but I'd hate to be around when she comes back down to Earth. Well, maybe we can let her down easy. I think we owe her that much. Yeah. What are we gonna do? We can't just let Zinthra build up her hopes and then knock the props out from under her. Yeah, why not? It'll be fun. Terrible thing. Poor Jan. There must be something we can do before it's too late. You've got a mighty convincing argument. Very impressive to the layman. You're a layman. Well, he's got a record just as impressive. A little ways to find out. The answer might be right here in our hands. Kids. I'm going to keep this letter for a day or two. Wait a minute. Suppose she finds out it's gone. I'm the only one with access to that desk. She'll know I took it. Well, it's a chance you have to take, Mary. Well, thanks for volunteering me for that, asshole. What's going, honey? Oh, come on, young lovers. He called us lovers. <laughs> no, see? The enzymes took five years off of her face, and she's going to smoke them right back on. You live here? You have a home, right? Back to the fake elevator. That is clearly a hallway back there. I do not buy it. I'm sorry. And out of the fake elevator. Your thorax is developing nicely, my lady. Because <laughs> because wasps. That, that was the joke. It was, it was, it was wasps. There's that Budweiser. I was wondering where I left that. She found Zenthrop's whiskey flight. It's experimental new flavors based on wasp jelly. Time to get a late night buzz on. <laughs> Do not expose to light. Oh, I hope that's not. How I inject! That syringe is like. Five or six times the diameter of the one she was getting shot with earlier. See, they're gonna paint this. This movie's gonna paint this out to be like Zenthrope's mad science is what turned her. But like, didn't he have an experimental batch in the fridge? Does she even know what one she's getting? Like, a little squirting there. <laughs> I swear that never happens. <laughs> Feel the evil flow through me. <laughs> At least she was able to hold the needle steady while she faked injecting herself. Better than Zenthrope did. Also, I think he's gonna notice that something's missing. Took half a damn bottle. It's like a bit much. I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know wasp jelly from anything else. I'm just. Theory. A theory is that she took a bit much. They'll never know I was here. <laughs> that cat growing wings? It's not a tumor. I am my own younger sister. What is it, Maureen? It is you, Mr. Of course it's me. Who did you think it was? You look so different. 
I know, I've grown a stinger. Maureen. Huh? I think your phone is ringing. Oh, oh. no, that's not my ringtone. Yes, Miss Darling. Good morning. Gentlemen. Janice Dawson. Gentlemen. This is about to start on the most widespread publicity campaign in the history of the cosmetic industry. That old dude is looking entirely too excited at her. Creeper. Return to you for Janice Starling. When Mr. Simpson arrives, there will be a press interview and all questions regarding the rejuvenation process will be referred to him. That'll be all for now, gentlemen. Gentlemen! I said that will be all for now, gentlemen. But no, keep it going a little. Five more minutes. Just just a few more compliments, please. It's... Oh, not you, Mary. Wait a moment, please. I'm going to inject you next. <laughs> Leave. She's mine now. Mary, isn't it wonderful? It's a miracle. A wonderful, incredible miracle. Science, but we it's fine. We were so worried about you. We really thought you were in danger. <laughs> we even went to plotting how to, how to rescue you from Mr. Zinthrop. <laughs> and she's lost it. It seems ridiculous. Oh, Mary. Mary, how old do I look? Tell me. How old are you? How old do I look? Tell me! <laughs> Tell me how old! <laughs> Tell me! Chill out, man. Twenty-three. How dare you! Uh, <sighs> That's how old I was when I started Janice Darling Enterprises. Do you realize what that means? She used daddy's money. I'm back where I started. Eighteen years Capitalism ago. Capitalism sucks. With what it took eighteen years to accomplish. <sighs> it's like a dream. Just like a dream, the wasps will take you there. Just like a dream, inject jelly and you will de-age. There we go, Mr. Rack. I hope you're comfy. Mr. Snuggles has escaped again. There's been a prison break. Oh, I love you too, Mr. Snuggles, but I've got to get to work now. Mr. Snuggles, please. 30 years and now I hate the doctor. We're treating people with monkey glands. Seemed to work for a while. Uh, fun side note, there was also experiments into uh, taking slivers of monkey testicles and placing them inside of human scrotums in order to increase virility. Yeah, we're a fucked up species. We do some weird shit. Mr. Snuggles, no. <laughs> Did I use Mr. Snuggles? Have I just changed his name in between scenes? That's possible. I'll bake for three hours at 450. Them's good eatings. Looks a little bit like Red Forrester. Not Red Foreman, sorry. That one brief shot. Back to the fake elevator. Look what. Oh, you can't see it because of my banner at the top. That The floor thingy on the top of the elevator is clearly just a piece of plywood they hung up. No one's buying it, it's not an elevator. You better not have hurt Mr. Snuggles. Find that bunk cake recipe, it's the last thing I do. I don't even know if bunk cake's hard to make, I just chose a random food item.
Also, feel free to post your bunk cake recipes in the comments below. <laughs> Definitely bees. Which is weird, because he said he was researching wasps, so why does, why does he have so many bees? Hmm? Yep, just as I thought. Those are papers. What don't you have in your coat? Pipes, lockpicks... Change drawer? That's a weird thing for him to have in here. Dear Diary, Mr. Snuggles was so affectionate today. Hello? Mr. Zinthrop! Mr. Zinthrop, I'll kill you! Uh souls to feed my new master. And a nice establishing shot to let us know no one's here. Got it. Thanks. I'll just see myself out, though. I should say hi to Mr. Snuggles before I go. Oh, it'll be fine. I hid with the bees. The perfect crime! No one will ever suspect the pipe smoker to have produced that pipe smell in the lab. Oh, the wasps are getting the- The wasps have gotten their revenge! It's amazing they learned how to drive a car. Stop. I don't care what it costs. And we'll find him, alright. Sooner or later we find them all. Okay. The time is vital, Mr. Helm. Every hour he's gone. It means more than you can possibly imagine. Ah. Uh, well, he said found them all because he works on. with Operation Paperclip. No home address, Got it. No former employer, no phone. This is just like starting from scratch. <sighs> Mr. Zinthrop wasn't a, a conventional employee. He was a little weird. He didn't go through regular personnel. Uh-huh. You say he came here about a month ago. Well, how did he come here, Miss Starlin? He just didn't walk in off the street, did he? Well, yeah, that's where the door is. The letter. Right here in my drawer. Maybe, uh, one of the other drawers. Someone's been at my desk. Your soul will be mine! Miss Starlin. I'll be fine. I just have to go kill someone. I think you know who took it, is that right? My secretary, Miss Tennyson. You got her address handy? Phone number. It might be better if I busted in on her cold. This way she'll have a chance to prepare a story. Listen, Frankenstein, I know how to do my job. Mary? Janice Starlin. Technically Frankenstein's monster, Frankenstein was the doctor. That's right, I'm a nerd! Deal with it! I was going to take that one to build in Mr. Cooper at first. But then I thought that the original would be better. Have you got the copy? Yes, it's in my desk. Get that copy, Miss Tennyson. Oh no, someone broke into my desk too! 946 West 73rd Street, Manhattan. Yeah, 675309. Right. Get right on it, Jerry, and check back with me as soon as you can. I don't have a number for. Oh, oh. Michael J. Fox, what are you doing here? Super exciting, I'm glad this is in the film. Weren't you just parked behind the Rolls Royce there? Why why did you just Oh they're gonna hit that poor parking meter Oh Gotta get back to the future, Doc! You see my mom? To the Toby Maguire mobile! I should not mind, he doesn't look like Miles J. Fox, he looks like Toby Maguire. Which makes this Spider-Man the early years! That, 
No one pay attention to lights? That card's totally blue or red. Now they're doing donuts in an intersection? What the hell are we watching? So, their method of trying to find this random doctor is just to drive around town showing people a picture? I'm not sure how exactly you find them all eventually. Do you just ask everyone in the country until someone recognizes them? I mean, I suppose that would work, but it doesn't seem time of time effective. Someone knows what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, that's clearly for ambulances, sir. You can't go in there. You're not an ambulance. You're just a person. Sir! Sir! You can't go that way! Sir! You're blocking the emergency entrance. Move that car! Weird that he would go into the hospital just to use their phones. Thank God, this is the 40th number I've tried. You didn't leave me a call back. You're sure he's our boy? Uh huh. Well, as so far as any old man can be your Central boy, Earth. but. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it looks like we've got him. This is John Doe down at Central Emergency Auto Accident. There's no identification on him, but he was wearing a lab smock and Phil Zinthrope's description. Mary, get my coat and Len, get a cab. Witness, witness reports say he was hit by a group of wasps driving a Chevy. Head injury, general contusions of the body. Thanks to Total Wine, you saved more. He's had a severe injury, and there's definite brain damage. Got one of those old school sleeping socks. How long before you'll know? It's hard to say, Miss Charlie. I don't actually work here. Who's the best man for this kind of injury? Again, well, don't work here. Specialists. Get the best. I'll take full responsibility for the expenses. Yes, Miss Darling. I don't know, Arthur. Do you think he's capable of being in a scene without smoking that pipe? It's been three days since the accident, Jan. And no sign of improvement. He's still in a coma. You heard what the doctor said. He may never regain consciousness. And even if he does, who knows how badly his brain has been damaged. But that's the part I need. Well, I'll give it another 48 that's hours. That's not how you use a chair. He doesn't regain consciousness by then. Well, you can take over the laboratory, Arthur. Janet. It's my decision. I, I'm not a scientist. I mean, I suppose I could turn into my man cave. I don't know what I need with a laboratory, though. The experimental vial C, do not use. Oh, that should be fine. Oh! Mm, it's cherry flavored. That's weird. Why can't I taste it? Incredible. This diary has no information useful at all. I can't have used it all. I could run a qualitative analysis. Or some other sciencey words. I'm gonna break out his Fisher Fisher Price chemistry set and try to crack the mystery. But first, he's gonna crack the door. She said she'd give you the lab, bro. Why are you breaking in? Why, someone's drank almost this entire whiskey flight. Also, that's more liquid than was in there the last time we saw it. So, like, is she making her own now? <laughs> Wasp Woman! Wasp Woman away! To be fair, he did break into her lab. I think this qualifies as self-defense. He's an intruder. She's justified. Oh, she got a royal jelly all over his face. 
Enter the comic relief! Am I guess? What? Oh, it's a key. I was listening to Batman. That's right, originally Batman was a radio program. There's a cat tail on my face. I believe I drank the whole thing. I want us to be I wonder if she hit the body. Okay, so you're turning into a killer wasp and you're still like, yeah, let's, let's, let's push this to the country, though. Our scientists in a coma. I'm murdering people. Everything's going swimmingly for this medicine. I think it's ready for market. God, he gives me such a headache. Cosmetics are one thing. Medication's another. We're liable to run into trouble. Yes. I just remembered I don't care about your opinion. will be cleared through your office. Well, it's a touchy business, you know. Max is right, Miss Starling. Don't have to second the motion. I want one thing understood very clearly now, gentlemen. I'm in charge and I don't care what you think. Is going to bring the most fantastically saleable product ever developed by modern cosmetics to the public. Or my name's not Stalin. Restricted by timidity on the part of my own staff. Is that clear? We don't understand what timidity means. Are you all right, Miss Tarlin? A little hungover. I drank a lot of whiskey earlier. Just a little headache, Merrick. I'm fine. Can I get you something? I'm all right. Your blood's bad. I have some aspirin in my crate. It's all right, Merrick. Well, it's not her fault she's so contrary. Gentlemen! If you don't understand the reference, it's an Aquatine Hunger Force thing. And you shouldn't get it. The movie, that show was terrible. <laughs> Hi. 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 Gee, I sure hope they give the girls working at Starlin first crack at that new stuff. Imagine being 18 again. I guess if it can take 15 years off Starlin... Can take ten off you. Fifteen years off Stalin? That's weird. Face it, honey. This is Maureen you're talking to. Yeah. Well, if I were you, I'd take a double dose. Then maybe Irving wouldn't watch television so much. So who says he looks at it? I can't imagine what else he does. Three guesses. I'm lost as well. I don't know what they're talking about. Say, did Cooper come in yet? Mm -mm. Missed a board meeting this morning. I bet Starlin's having a fit. And they are drinking a ton of cup soup. See you later. Bye, honey. Hi, pretty puss. Sexist. You know where, um, Miss Starlin's office is? Standing awful closer, buddy. <laughs> La dee da, the Duchess of Flatbush herself. How'd you like to have this phone wrapped around your ear, wise guy? How would you wrap a phone around an ear? Sweet number one. Ah, the past was the worst. Miss Starling. Yes? Oh, what is it, Mary? Is there anything I can do? Probably is, not. Is, uh, is Mr. Zinthrop's room ready? Uh-huh. The nurse is fixing the emergency equipment now, and the ambulance is due any minute. Well, be sure to let me know when it arrives. Oh, Mary, please. Sleeping in your office now? You go, could you see if you could work that thing? Oh, sure. It's called a bed, but okay, I'll see what I can do. I've seen lots of babies. Have you? Oh. Simple enough. That'll be all, Mary. Thank you. Who am I? For you, Mr. Zentrup. And Miss Warren has a room adjoining yours, so there'll be someone near you at all times. Look at that black eye. That car must have had a mean right hook. When you're feeling better, Mr. Zentrup, 
There are a few things I'd like to discuss with you. Good, good. Uh, whatever, I don't care. We'll do everything we can to make you comfortable, Mr. Zinthrop. Yeah. I'm going to spend the night here in my office. So if anything develops, I'll be on hand. Uh, thank you. <laughs> only, only there's some, something, uh, I must tell you, something important. This bed is highly uncomfortable. Important, but, uh, Never trust a wasp who drives. I'm sure it can wait. Right now the main thing is to get you back to health. Take good care of you, Miss Warren. Yes, Miss Darling. I don't sure work for you. Funny about old Coop. He misses one day of work and you're ready to call him missing person. Well, he's a pretty conscientious guy, honey. If he felt sick or something, he would call in. Relax. Maybe he's just drunk. Mr. Redding's okay? Oh, we were just having a little coffee clutch, Miss Darling. We were talking about Mr. Cooper. The car tire guy? Well, about his missing the meeting this morning. Nobody's been able to reach him all day. I wouldn't worry about that. Seeing as how he's dead and all. <laughs> Probably feels he's entitled to take a day for himself now and then. That's what I've been trying to tell Mr. Lane. Oh, by the way, Miss Starlin, how is... Hey, why are you biting me? Oh, fine. In a few days, we'll uh, start the layouts for the campaign. Oh, I'm ready when you are, boss. Look, those over. Jerk. Hey, Bill. Get any ideas about the boss? For me? Don't be silly. I just wanted to know that I'm an eager member of the team. Still, she is looking a lot younger these days, isn't she? Do you think Zinthrop would give you any of those treatments? You know, Cooper's not going to be the only corpse in the office. That's the weirdest security uniform ever. Ladies and gentlemen, overweight Indiana Jones. Well, that didn't look right. Well, we're definitely taking place in America because everyone and their mother has a gun. Really loud bad dream. It woke me up too. This horrible sound. Like, like a nightmare. It's a bad dream. Lie down. Just try to dream quieter, please. Tell Mr. Green that personnel is his responsibility. He has other things to think about than worrying whether the night watchman walked off the job. Well, that's oh. just it, Mr. Plus, I can't believe I ate the whole guy. Green feels that the watchman never left the building. Loaded for a week. His lunch pail and his raincoat are still in the basement. I don't want to hear anything more. Dead and all over you, pain in the ass. We'll use these. For flowers. What happens when you see it? It's smiling at me, but not a friendly smile. It's the worst smile I've ever seen. She swears she heard a scream from one of the other floors. Sorry, the commercial I'm trying to edit out was for that movie Smile. So that's the. Dream. Well, maybe they both were. That's not funny anymore, Mary. There's something going on in that building. I mean, yeah, we're running a company. Let's... Have a look around Cooper's lab for one thing. After that, I. I don't know. Hold it steady. You hold it steady. This is crazy. We can really get in trouble. Or break a desk. Or a nail. I won't tire him, Miss Warren. But it is important. All right, Mr. Allen. I'll be in my room. A par or a office building or an apartment complex? Sinthrop, you've got to help me. Something's happening. Something's happening to me. I can't control it. There is something. It's, it was the radioactive wasp jelly. I can't. I tried to think. 
By yes. day, a mild-mannered cosmetics the empire. Yes. By night, lost woman. Zenthrop's notebook, Mary. Notes on his experiments with Jan. Well, how did Cooper get hold Weird of diary him? entries, too. Oh. Something about a Mr. Fluffykins? Only I changed the cast's name up. again, didn't I? Mary, look. Never goes anywhere without stuffing his pipe dangerously into his pocket. Don't you get it? He's gonna go out without his pants. Why, he's missing he's his nipple. He's burned it off three times. He's still somewhere in the building. I bet a year's salary on it. He's dead. Hey, he could be and sleeping. He didn't jump to conclusions. He could be sleeping with the Night Watchman. There's only enough left for one more injection. One more. You've got to make more, Zen. I mean, you probably should have stopped taking it when you started killing people. Gosh, he's yelling at me. I'm sensitive. <laughs> Lost woman! Away! Do you have stinger fingers? She's stinging her nose? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, that's worth passing out over. Also, I think I saw a movie that started like that. That wasn't safe for YouTube. Is he asleep? I don't know. Nope, he's dead. If anybody knows what's behind all this, it's him. Mr. Zinter. Bill. That sweater's been shot. Uh, oh, that's three down. Oh, I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. I guess I'll eat the guinea pigs next. Again, bees. Only my bees understand me. Well, her coat, purse, and everything else are still in there. She wouldn't go out without her purse. Women do be person. Get out of here. I don't like it. I can't. Came back can't. the very next day. Mr. Zinter. Yes? Who are you? Well, there's nothing to be alarmed about, Mr. Zinter. I'm Bill Lane, and this is Miss Dennison, Miss Starlin's secretary. And there's a wasp woman going around killing everyone in the building. But again, nothing to be alarmed about. What about a cat? Must warn her. Injections. Must not take any more injections. Is Miss Darlin in danger? Well, danger. more we are, but... Take it easy, Mr. Zentrop. You're still pretty weak. Mary, see if you can get Jan on the phone. All right. All right. Now out again. No answer. Oh, Miss Darlin? Is that you, Mary? Where are you? We're in the building. Here, let me talk to her. Hello, Miss Starlin. This is Lane. Why are you in Your doctor woke up and I docked him. Decked him. Decked. Decked. He decked him. God damn it. I can't explain now, Miss Starlin. I must go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. I'll punch him again. Don't worry, Mr. Zentrup. We won't let anything happen to Miss Starlin. Hello. Hello, Miss Starlin. What's going on down there? Stay in your office. Get of stuff. Keep an eye on Zinthrop, honey. I'm going upstairs. Oh, no. No, no. The insects. The insects. Take it easy, Mr. Zinthrop. You do not understand. I will choke you, I swear to God. This is in danger. I, I must warn. Look, I'll have to I stay must... here. You go for Jan. Oh, okay. Uh, when you get up there, call the police. You can't get outside on this phone. Oh, well, that's right, dumb. Who designed this building? Oh, uh, look. Their little button thingy moved. I was right. It is a fake elevator. See? It's at an angle. Ha-ha! 
two guys on the side doing the Star Trek thing, pulling up and closed. Miss Stalin! Miss Stalin, your husband's up to no good with the Nazis! I guess I gotta kill Mary now. Woman's work is never done. What is it, Mary? Please, will you please call the police? What for? But look, I don't have time to. Mary! Touch that phone and I'll end you! Oh! I'm sorry I had to do that. There's no time for hysteria. Now, what is this? What about her, Terry? The enzymes. The enzymes, they're, they're going crazy. Sure, Mr. Sensor. Now you just relax and take it easy. Everything will be all right. We'll take care of those. I will put more masking tape on your head. Understand that girl? You shouldn't have sent her upstairs. She's in danger. You must stop her before it is too late. Okay, as soon as the cops get here, we'll oh, take her. Oh, you fool, you fool. Miss Darling will kill her and tear her body to shreds. Miss Darling, kill Mary? Miss Darling is not a human being any longer. Lord of God, they're all calling her Miss Darling. She will destroy the girl as if evil wasp would destroy her enemies and then devour the remains. But I don't understand. She's so thin. I found Mr. Zinthrop's notebook in Cooper's desk. You all must die. The wasp queen must protect her secrets. Call the police now. Now, Mary, you're just getting a little excited. Who could possibly want to hurt Mr. Cooper? I don't know. Wasp sense. Tingling. Mr. Cooper. What if not? Big Apple. I mean, you can try running. A thought. Oh, she's never gonna be able to fight in those gloves. Jumping! I told you we're too late. Mary! Oh, where'd I put my shoes? Oh, they fixed it. The button thing is even again. Oh, hold on, I just gotta get my robe. Have you seen my slippers? Uh, I go with you. I can't wait. I'm not I didn't realize how short he was. Laboratory. She's going to laboratory. Oh, fuck that. I'm not using the stairs. Mary. 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 Quit being a corpse and open the door! Is it just me or did he totally miss that window? Plus, <laughs> woman! Throw things that's dangerous. Boss punch. Boss joke. Boss push. And that just the way you try to do a little light mad sign saying, and then you create a creature that kills you. That, it's, uh, that's it's like Tuesday. It's just terrible. What this world does to poor mad scientists. Just trying to make it. In a sane scientist world. Get away from her. Who labeled that bottle? <laughs> ah, wasp melt. My eyes, it's in my beautiful multifaceted eyes. Thus ended the case of the world's first and only were wasp. Mary. Oh. I think you're laying in a pool of security guard here, honey. Let's move you over a few feet. Back to the bees! Aren't they nicer than wasps? Dennis Stalin was played by Susan Cabot. I don't know any of these people, they're all old. Anyway. 
Thus ends the terrible, tragic tale of Wasp Woman, one of Marvel's lesser-known characters, and I, and I feel for reasons. Anyway, that was the riff. I hope you enjoyed the riff. Enjoy my riff. Enjoy my riff. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. I do appreciate you hanging out with me. If you enjoyed it, feel free to click all them likes and subscribes and support the channel that will be linked in the description where this movie came from. Thank you all so much. I love your faces. I will be live on Twitch later, 9.30 Eastern, almost, most, most nights, most nights. And then of course, if you enjoyed the riff, we do a live one on Fridays at 9.30 on the Twitch channel. Thank you all so much. I appreciate your time. I hope you are well. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you next time. Have a great day, my friends!